Hi, welcome to Encouragement for Today. I'm Pastor Emily. I was really excited about starting our new small group study last night on the wisdom literature in the Old Testament. Last night we were looking at the book of Proverbs, and it's one of a collection of three wisdom books, and it's the most positive of the three. (laughs) This book sees the world in a way where if you do good, you get good. If you do bad, you get bad. So it's, it's pretty predictable. And the heart of doing good is living in God's wisdom, having a deep reverence for God. And the book, it opens up in the first nine chapters with these 10 speeches from a father to his son. And woven into those, there are these lady wisdom poems where wisdom is personified as a woman. And there's an invitation to seek after her because she's even better than gold or silver or rubies. Um, In her is life. She is a tree of life. And I think these poems are just beautiful. I want to read a, a section of one of them for you where woman wisdom, she says she was in the beginning with God. So I'm starting in Proverbs 8, verse 22. The Lord brought me forth as the first of his works, before his deeds of old. I was formed long ages ago, at the very beginning, when the world came to be. When there were no watery depths, I was given birth. When there were no springs overflowing with water, before the mountains were settled in place, Before the hills, I was given birth. Before he made the world or its fields or any of the dust of the earth, I was there when he set the heavens in place, when he marked out the horizon on the face of the deep, when he established the clouds above and fixed securely the fountains of the deep, when he gave the sea its boundary so the waters would not overstep his command, and when he marked out the foundations of the earth. Then I was constantly at his side. I was filled with delight day after day, rejoicing always in his presence, rejoicing in his whole world, and delighting in mankind. And then she says, Now then, my children, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Listen to my instruction and be wise. Do not disregard it. Blessed are those who listen to me, watching daily at my doors, waiting at my doorway. For those who find me find life and receive favor from the Lord. But those who fail to find me harm themselves, and all who hate me love death. So this woman wisdom, she's inviting people in Proverbs into the wisdom of God. And then um, starting in Proverbs 10, there are just these sayings one after another that are attributed to Solomon. Um, But scholars think it's also a collection of wisdom from the community of faith over the years. So there were some fun ones that I picked up on as I was listening to Proverbs, and I want to share um, some of them with you. Well, this one's just very practical. The words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Um, And this one, I experienced the reality of this um, just the other day. Gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and healing to the bones. Uh, A woman had gracious words um, for me in the middle of this conversation we were having, and I thought, ah, it's like like drinking fresh water to receive that kind of grace from a person. And then this one, those of you who are um, a little older might appreciate this proverb. (laughs) Gray hair is a crown of splendor. It is attained in the way of righteousness. And then this one is a throw out to my husband and maybe all the husbands out there. (laughs) Houses and wealth are inherited from parents, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. And then last one, the mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life, 
but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. So the book of Proverbs, it just has, has saying after saying like this um, that points people towards wisdom and towards a good life. I'm excited as we keep going with small group that we're going to look at wisdom books that uh, acknowledge that life isn't always so clear. It's not this structure of you do good, you get good, you do bad, you get bad. Um, there are unexplained events in the world that we also have to deal with in our lives of faith. But I hope something from Proverbs encouraged you today, and we'll talk to you again soon.